Hello guys, welcome back to Cloud of Damage. So, for anyone who doesn't know, it has been a while. It has been a very long while since I have done news about video games, rather than actually playing the video games. It has been a very long time. I do not know why. I just, I have thought about it and I was like, you know what? I need to talk about video games and I need to pull up some things just because why not? Let me think about, I was thinking about this and the other. I'm going to talk a lot about random stuff here. I'm just letting you know that right now. It's going to be about this and the other. There's three big ones and it's, they all coincide together in certain points and we'll get to that and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. But my general talk today is about just the general decline of video games, but it is going to talk about games also coming out. So you'll see what I mean. So the biggest first though, the first thing I really hated about Oh shit, sorry. But it's this. Ubisoft gamers sh should feel comfortable with not owning their games. No. No no person here... See, the biggest problem about that is we grew up... I have... Ah, uh, in that little drawer over there, I have about... What? 50? 60 boxes of games that I can plug into my Xbox and play. They are mine. No one can stop me. No matter what. Now, eventually, they're going to try and find a way to stop us. I know they are. But it is... That's just... Oh, that's just the way of gaming for some reason. I don't know why corporations feel like that's a good thing. It isn't. But that's what we got to live with. It's what we got to live with. I don't, I don't like it because it's... It's a game. We've bought it. The money means we own it. And like, what was it? Like the meme says... If um if buying isn't owning, then um piracy isn't stealing. So I mean they're right. It isn't because if I never owned it. If I never owned it, if buying isn't owning, then then I can't pirate it because then it's just free. It's just it's just out there. It's it's nobody's. Which means if I take it, oh, well it's not it wasn't yours. You didn't buy it. So it is one of those things of, that's why we say, give it to us, it's ours, don't fuck with it. Because it's ours, don't touch it. We don't like having our choices taken away from us. That's just the stupid thing about it. And it's so simple. But Ubisoft, being Ubisoft, for some reason has this idea that they're just going to slowly ruin themselves and say stuff like that. It is what it is, I'm not going to stop them, because I'm a wee little channel. But it's just funny how... All businesses right now are going down this road. They're all going down the road of, I'm going to make money, screw over the people I I have to have in order to keep my business going. And then I'm also going to just ruin the things they like as well. Like, it's just slowly just... I'm also going to say things that really make me look like a horrible, immoral person. Like, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. And... No, and I liked Ubisoft growing up. I did. I, I loved Far Cry's. I'm a very easy person to please. I, I'm not hard to please with video games. I'm getting better about having my opinions and finding the one or two things. Getting better about speaking and verbalizing my one or two things. I really... Maybe maybe it's called like looking into it. Like actually looking into a game. Like, okay, so what do I not like about this? Let me try and verbalize it. Get better about it. Because I'm not good with English. Well, I am, but my words are just, man, that's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. like, it's just that that's my English. That's it. So that that's my verbiage. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, this, then the others. I'm just like the graphic shit, graphic shit, boo boo, <laughs> graphic don't shit. Don't like that's <laughs> that's my sentence. That is my stable sentence of an opinion. And they're so make fun of it. I don't care. But the, the, and the biggest problem is, is that some of these games are actually really good. There are some of these games are very pretty, and then other games are not. But at the same time, what I'm saying is, for Ubisoft to come out here and say stuff like this, it's very concerning. Game, they, they're not the only ones. That's the thing. They're not the only ones that have said this. Other game or other companies are maybe not agreeing, but they definitely want someone to push it so they can do it as well. Promise you that. So the person apparently was Philip Trembley. Trembley. Ubisoft, gamers are used to owning their games. That's the consumer shift that needs to happen. No, hell no. The f 
that's this dumbass idea. Oh, and the crew got taken away, apparently. Oh, it's fantastic. Wait. Oh, they have Ghost Recon. God damn it. Oh, well, I might as well just give up on life now. See, I really want a new... I really want a new um Ghost Recon. Um, Like, like um, Wildlands. I just want a new one. Adding on to the story of um, Breakpoint. I really like those games. Those games were great. There was a lot of things I could complain about, but that's not the biggest issue. It's more of just, why? Why do they do this? Every game now seems to just have, it's just either dumbed down or it's safe. Like they say, you know, games nowadays are not in innovative enough. But because of that, obviously, they can't make it because then they can't make the money because apparently the game is like a six year long game they have to build up and so they have to make you know 400 million dollars which they can't do because they have to add monetization into it but no one likes that so they're never going to make their money so they're never going to do it that's why call of duty hasn't changed that's why assassin's creed hasn't changed and now that they are they're getting bitched at because you can't you can't make you know, maybe three pieces of scripture about one black man. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just apparently the history of this is not accurate to um, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Apparently, Yasuke is not Yasuke is not accurate, apparently, in the game. I'm more of the person like. I don't care. Actually, no, I take that back. I care a lot, actually. I really want things to be accurate because it's specifically when you double standard it viking the Val valhalla was accurate pretty well like more to, better than most from what i've seen they have their gods they had all that they were great they were actually kind of accurate in it but when you go to japan for some reason that's all asians you choose a black man i'm not trying to be mean i'm just saying like but 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 you could have just done Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima again. You could have, but you didn't. You kind of decided to choose this one area that you knew was going to create probably controversy of some kind. But also, that's like someone going into Russian history as a Russian. Hello. That's like someone going into my history and then choosing the one black man out of there that was in the gulags. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just like, I'm just going to be like, that doesn't make sense because I looked it up several years ago. The population of Russians to anyone outside of Russia, which is probably anyone, Americans, blacks, anybody. The black population in Russia was like 50,000 out of like 200 million. So it was literally like 0.0001%. And I'm like, and that's what I'm kind of getting at. Why do you choose this one group that, no offense, has very little no offense but to russian history no offense they have no stand they have no real history that i know of i haven't i'm not a historian but like why do you do that why do they i'm not trying to get into it but it's just a lot of dumb stuff like you make dumb decisions it's japan you have a lot of things you could have done but you decide to do this one thing to ruin your player base and now everyone hates you but you're never going to change because now you've done this but if you stay the same, you're going to get people going to get mad at it because your normalcy now is open world. And you're never going to go back to tradition because that was actually violent and probably a little bit more violent to the point. It's just, I don't understand. Common sense doesn't exist. I'm not trying to be mean. And Ubisoft started this. The Ubisoft, well, not started this, but just, eh, I didn't really read all through this. I liked Far Cry 6. Well, actually, I like all the Far Cries, honestly. I like Immortals, Phoenix, Phoenix Immortals. It's not that bad. Legion, Watch Dogs Legion, no, I hated it. Valhalla, I really enjoyed, actually. I really enjoyed. Just more weapons, please. That's it. But I was also going to go to this. So, I really... This is my thing. I am a big Borderlands fan, if you didn't know. Big Borderlands fans. I really... Give me a second. Whatever. 
So I'm sorry, music. So they there it's been rumored and it's most likely going to happen where Borderlands 4 it's already in the making apparently. I really enjoyed Borderlands 3 and 2. I have not played one. I have played pre-sequel Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I have not played the Telltale games. I really like Borderlands. The one thing about Borderlands though is after 3 there is only so much you can do with the loot until you probably get to a point of either repetition. Repetition, the story is either going to be shit or the gameplay loop has already been topped off. You know what I mean, guys? Like, personally to me, Borderlands 3 is the highest grade of gameplay we're going to get from Borderlands until they start putting in things that probably just don't make it fun anymore. I enjoy Borderlands 3 because I really like the loot gain, the loot grind. I like stuff like that. All, but the only problem is Borderlands 3 had an issue where legendaries just didn't feel worth enough. 2 was... I'm playing through 2 right now. 2 has the issue of... It's really hard to get a legendary. But, you, but once you get to the second difficulty, it's actually really fun to play through. It's not that bad. It's more of just, you know, getting your steps in and just getting good at it. Now, regardless, having Borderlands 4 come out or being revealed or whatever, this is the problem of good video games. They have so many iterations now. They have two. They have, they say, talk, they talk about one. I don't know much about one. I just know about two, three pre sequel Tiny Tinas. The Telltale games are great. And three. And now they're hey four. Four can only do so much to add to the gameplay quality. The gaming graphics are going to be great. I know the guns are either going to be the same or have a little bit of modification, but not much added to it because there's only so much you can do until you really, because in three, they added a lot of these effects, all these new things, but that's where they hit the top. They hit it. So what do you do now? How do you improve on I call it a 9 out of 10. Well, I would consider Borderlands 3 to be like a 7.5 out of 10, 8 out of 10, because there, there's things about it I don't like. But when it comes to the gameplay and the guns, the actual kind of meat of the game, it, they hit it. They hit, you know, the 10 out of 10. There's only so much you can do without getting into like a life service, a fucking <laughs> battle royale. There's only so much they can do. The thing about it is, you're going to ruin the feeling of playing these games. Something about doing these games a little too much for, for any games nowadays. It just feels like they're going to do something. I am afraid of Borderlands 4 coming out because I feel like something's going to happen and it's going to get ruined. It's just going to get ruined somehow. I don't know how it just it's just one of my gut feelings. That's what I wanted to talk about with Borderlands 4. And also, apparently it is coming out. Being revealed juice June 7th on the what is it? Um, that's the rumor. Uh Summer Game Fest 2024. Which I mean, hey, I have nothing wrong with that. I was gonna look at something over here. I don't know how I feel about that. Square Enix. God, what is it? Oh god. So I'm sorry, but oh, that's why I hated that. Ooh, let me look at that actually. Oh, I can't reach. I don't care about Cyberpunk. I want to look actually. I want to look at Concord for a second, because that is just dumb. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's dumb. What? <laughs> well, that's stupid. Concord may be unavailable in hundreds of countries. Well, then what's the point of releasing it? One day ago by Viraj Bhatnagam. Nagar. Um, I'm sorry. That's a... Mm. Concord, a new sci-fi FPS by Firewalk Studios may require a PlayStation... Oh, okay. So they're just playing... Oh, so they're just doing um, Helldivers 2 again and gonna, you know, probably die on the spot. Oh, yeah. All the... Uh... It doesn't look bad. But it's a 5v5, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't care about 5v5 games. I just don't. It's not my thing. According to a reputable leaker, Firewalks do is Conquer will require blah, 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 blah. 
So the biggest issue about it is all the, um, it's not, now that's going to be an issue. I am learning that the controversial requirement has already affected games like Helldivers who causing fan outrage and widespread review bombing. Well, not review bombing, it's reviewing. See, I hate when people call it review, well, there are such things as review bombs and review over likes, I guess you would call it. It's more of, Concord looks like just essentially the LG HD TV community game for overwatch or the the overwatch clone given to the lg lg hd tv community and i'm not trying to be mean but that that doesn't that doesn't put a good taste in my mouth i'm just gonna be like okay bleh, don't want that i'm not spending fucking 50 60 bucks on that 70 bucks on it so people are gonna get mad about it but then you're gonna be like but you made it for like you know two percent of the population also overwatch exists Apex Legends exist. Valorant exists. X Define exists. You can own a person can only play so many games. It's kind of like at my job right now. They're like, why aren't you doing this, this, and this? I'm like, because if I do this, it takes time. And the I, I have only so much time and physical ability to do it. I can only play for like so many hours of a video game until my brain goes blah. And some of y'all probably can do a lot better than me. Good for you. But that's my thing. It, it, when this comes out. How many people are you going to pull away from Valorant, from Apex, from League of Legends, Warcraft, what is it, World of Warcraft 3, stuff like that? What are you, how, fucking Call of Duty, Warzone, how many game? how many people are you going to pull away, Helldivers 2, how many people are you going to actually pull away from those games that already exist, that are fun, and also made for the people? Not trying to be mean, but it's kind of like, eh, you're kind of... You're hoping for a lot. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's a big ask. Big ask. Speaking of which, X Defiant. They don't really have pictures. I'm sorry, but X Defiant is just pointless, man. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's pointless. Co core modes offer temporary fun stabs at the competitive multiple. What is this from? This is from Game Informer. Cool. Actually. See, I don't know if I I don't know if I trust it or not. Like I don't hear much about it. This is just where they're from. But uh, fun stands the competitive multiplayer arena shooter. But Ubisoft's latest attempt at carving out a slice of the lucrative esports pie feels. See the issue again. The issue is live service are too big and require too much attention by the player to have multiple of them in one person's life. I have a I have a coworker. All he does is Rocket League. He says that is it. He has a group, and that's it. He doesn't care about anything else. That every day he plays Rocket League. He and he's great at it. So he's not gonna buy, or he's not gonna get this, that, and the other, and play them because he literally has not enough time. It is dumb to make all these games that require constant gameplay or constant attention because it's live service remember monetization gotta have this gotta have that blah 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 in your goddamn face about it i'm sorry i had to do that because blah i hate it it's stupid that's why i if anything the biggest live service i would ever play or i actually did play was a was an anthem anthem and the division 2 and i didn't even play with people Really, I just played by myself. I kind of just like fucked off and did whatever I wanted. So now, that's the only game I would probably put any energy into. And now you're telling me there's like five of the games I have to get? No, I, not to mention I'm not spending money like that. It's just, they don't understand if someone's already playing Apex. Okay, they're good. That's it. If someone's playing Warzone, that's it. There's only so many people in the world. There is a... Companies don't want to believe it, but there is eventually this thing called the market cap. Not only that, but there's literally called the people cap. There is eventually a time where you've hit everybody and that's it. That's it. You've done. You're, you've, you've gone all your people. You have reached the limit of your money, but they never want to hear that because they want to hear more money, more money, more money, more monetization. It's dumb. Games right now are dumb and I hate it. I hate it a lot. Because I love my games. Like I said, I have 85 on my Xbox right now. 85 games. And, and like a few of them are digital. But most of them are disc based. Or 
can be this case. I am missing a game, actually. But that's the point. I have 84 games, buddy. I don't need any more. I'm plus two on my computer. Plus my PS4. Like, I am I'm good. I have a I have an employee. He has over 250 games on Steam. You think I, you think, let alone I have the time to play these games. You think anybody any of these people actually need a new video game? No. We choose to buy it if it's a good game. But half of these games aren't good. Half of these games are really need some more cooking and dough in them. Like seriously, it's watered down rice. It's groggy. It's messy. Or it's like not even cooked fucking steak, man. Well, no, no, that's actually what it is. It's steak that's literally just raw. They put in a microwave for 20 seconds and we're like, here, here you go. And we're just like, oh, yay, yay. No, they promised you steak and they put in the fucking mic and they gave you a hot dog. That's what they did. You, they promised you steak and they gave you a fucking hot dog. And you're, when you expect steak, you expect steak. But that's the dumb thing about it. Y'all keep buying. You, I haven't bought a $70 game in, I think, a year. Easily a year, if not longer. Y'all keep buying, so they're still going to do it. Guys, if you keep telling them, hey, I'm going to still buy it no matter what, they're going to do it no matter what. Don't get mad at me. You're the one buying. I'm not trying to be mad. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean to nobody. You buy whatever you want to buy. But call it but black. But, but, um, call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That went to absolute shit. It was a what three hour campaign. Apparently that's just a reused maps. You want to know why? Because they knew they could get away with it. They knew enough people in Call of Duty would buy it regardless because of whatever. And boom, you did. So they're going to do it again. If you tell someone, hey, you can get away with this and there will be no punishment, they're going to do it. If someone told me I could do a few crimes and I will never get any punishment for it, I can live guilt free. It will never come back to bite me in the butt. I will do it. I'm sorry. I would. I'm human. There are certain things I would love to do. Free food. Oh, no. And that's what I'm, I'm talking about, like stealing food. Like, oh, I get free food now. I don't have to buy food. But that's my point. If someone came up and told you, hey, these few crimes you can do, it will never come back to bite you in the butt. We will never ask a question. It will never pop up ever again. All right. But if you en but you enable it, guys, stop. Teach these guys a lesson and say, hey, I'm not going to buy your shitty game. P uh, Sony, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit again. Ah, mm. Sorry, but tell Sony, hey, we're not going to do that shit again. You you tell us to um, have a PSN account? Fuck off. I'm, I'm returning my game, actually, so give me my money back. See, that's what y'all guys need to do. You need to show them not only are you going to stop playing to lower their numbers of like, oh, I have subscription. No, you're going to be like, no, cancel, 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 return, return, return. Nope. False advertising. It's a false advertisement. You told me this? Nope. Done. It's... You let these guys play these games. And I'm not trying to be mean. Not everybody. Not everybody. And you, if you want to play the game, I'm not going to harp on you. But at the same time... Now, I won't lie. I still, I, I still bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But these are games I liked anyway. So I'm kind of just like... And, I ha and I'm happy to have them now. Because I have them. So I can't get... I'm not going to get rid of them. Because they're big enough to where I'm like, Oh, I can just replay the game. It'll be great. It'll be fun. Again, though. Sony is going to keep doing what Sony does. Xbox is down the goddamn drain. Ooh, see how that goes. But no, it's just one of those things. Just, I hope you all have fun. This is my very, this is my, it's been a while since I've done any news. I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. I'll probably do maybe a, a more in-depth Xbox thing because I'm an Xbox person. We'll see how it goes. All right. Peace.